हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन द गेट 2023 ट्वेंटी थ्री स्टेडिस्टिक्स टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द लास्ट फाइव क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस स्टेडिस्टिक्स एग्जाम माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर हरीश गर यू कैन सिंपली फॉलो माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड स्कैन एंड ज्वाइन माई व्हाट्सअप ग्रुप फॉर द वेरियस डिस्कशन यू कैन फाउंड इन माई यूट्यूब चैनल देर इज अ प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ द गेट स्टेडिस्टिक्स वेयर वी हैव डिस्कस द कंप्लीट गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री स्टेडिस्टिक्स क्वेश्चन यू कैन सी ट्वेंटी एट The last lecture was up to the 56 to 60. Apart from the GATE 2023 statistics, we have also solved the GATE 2022 uh, complete solution. Also, we have solved the GATE uh, CSR examinations paper like September 2022, GATE statistics of this 2018-17 PY question of the Markov chain, June 2023 statistics as well. So you can see the GATE statistics playlist where you have found the complete solution of statistics solution. so let's start with this questions again with the help of the shortcut trick so remember you have to read the statement very carefully x n is a sequence which is my ied having the normal uh, having the probability density function here so what is that this x i follows my exponential distribution with the parameter 1 so once it's exponential distribution then yn is defined the another sequence like there yn bar is a mean of that sequence and then you have to find this is convergence to the g uh, distribution with the mean zero variance here what is the shortcut tips for you firstly whenever there is a question of the distribution you firstly find the distribution of the required random variable they are talking about the yn so find the distribution of the yn bar y n bar is depending on the y i so basically you have to firstly find the distribution of y i here so that is a difference of the exponential distribution variable so what is the shortcut to x for you remember this tip you can solve this question within 15 second so if x and y is follows my exponential distribution with the parameter say lambda then x minus y will follows the laplace distribution with the parameter 0 lambda inverse fine so this i already explained in my theory lecture of the laplace distribution you can watch here once this is the first rule second rule is if if i say x follows my laplace distribution with a parameter 0, a then mod of x y because we need a mod of this it follows the exponential distribution with the parameter of a inverse whatever is here now based on this we can solve this question in a fraction of second you can see x i follows my exponential with the parameter 1 then you can see x 2n x 2n minus 1 it follows the laplace distribution with the parameter 0 and inverse of this what is the inverse of the one is still one fine then you can find the modulus of this what is the distribution of this by using this tool if x follows the laplace of 0, a then the mod of this will follows the exponential distribution with the inverse of 1 that is a 1 so what do you conclude that yn follows exponential distribution 1 so once yn follows the exponential so the mean is my 1 and variance of yn is my 1 fine clear so once you are able to identi identify the variance of this so what is the mean of this what is the mean of this you can see it's a sum of them so it's all are my iid so a, each have the same means so 1 1 1 1 n times it is my 1 what is the variance of the y n it is my 1 over n fine so can you write in this normal distribution xn minus 1 divided by 1 by root n there is a standard deviation it follows my normal distribution fine so whenever there is here you can write this as a root of n y n bar minus 1 will follows my normal distribution of 0 1 clear now once you are able to solve up to here the rest of the target is very simple now you can correlate with them by using this shortcut trick the same shortcut tricks i also explain in this gate 2022 statistics the similar kind of the question is available in this ask in this gate 2022 now if you look at that we prove that this y n bar minus 1 will follows the normal distribution of here so clearly says theta is my 
sigma square is minus 1. So now if you define like this, can you define the function of this as e raised to power minus x by here? So therefore, if you substitute this value, what is that? g of yn, yn is my yn bar because they are talking about here. So e raised to power minus yn bar. Theta is my 1. So it follows normal distribution 0. Sigma square, that is the same sigma square, it is my 1. 1 into derivative. What is the derivative of this? What is the derivative of this is e raised to power minus x and you have to find the derivative at the point theta that is a, at the point 1. So what is that? It is e raised to power minus 1. So what is the right answer? It is normal distribution 0 e raised to power minus 2. So it converges to the variance sigma square. So what is the right answer of the sigma square is sigma of minus 2 that is 1 over e square. So if you if you solve this by calculator. So let me find this value in the calculator e raised to power minus 2 it is my point 0.135 is the right answer. You can write up to the two decimal places 0.13 is the right answer. You can see the same question is asked in the gate 2022. I already explained the same question in my last lecture which is available in my again the playlist. You can see there is a gate 2022 complete solution is here. You can watch the solution as here. But anyhow, I can again explain you. You can see this is here. So this is my exponent. Uh, this is my gamma distribution. You can find the mean of x bar. If I consider the g of x is my x three minus x. So what is my theta? What is the mean of this? So it is a iid. So it is my four over three. Sigma square is my thirty two over three. So I can substitute this value. What is the g dash of x? So I can return as 3x minus x square. So 3 minus 2x. What is that g dash of here? So it is 3 minus 8 over 3. That is a 1 over 3. So I can substitute this value. So it follows the normal distribution. Sigma square is my 32 over 3. Sigma square, that is the square of this. So the right answer is 32 divided by 27. So if you divide them, you can check the right answer of this is my 1.185 is the right answer of this problem. So you can see there is, uh, you can solve this question within a 15 to 20 seconds because I have to return everything on the screen. But once you are solving the examination, there is no need to write everything. You can directly substitute the value at here. Okay, look at this uh, next question. This is related to the birth death process model and your target is to find the unique stationary distribution. So the stationary distributions are pi 0, pi 1, pi 2 and pi 3. So make sure the answers of this is my 1 because it's a stationary distribution. The sum of them is my 1 as it is of the probability side. Now how you can find the other values? So I can define the formula for you like here this is my pi of n which is product i varies from 1 to n lambda times here divided by mu of i into pi g fine. So based on this I can define the value of the pi 1 what is my pi 1 n is equal to 1 so it is my uh, lambda 0 divided by mu 1 of pi 0. What is the lambda 0 is 1, mu is 1, so it is nothing but my pi 0. What is my pi 2? Pi 2 if I substitute here, it's a product. Okay, so it's a product, it means i varies from 1 to 2. So when i is 1, when i is 2, it is mu 1, mu 2 of pi 0. So if I substitute here, product of these two quantities, product of these two quantities, again it's a 1, it's a pi 0. What is a pi 3? lambda 0, lambda 1 here and this is mu 1, mu 2, mu 3 of pi 0. So if I substitute here 1, 2, 3 is a 2 times pi 0. So substitute this value here. I can take pi 0 as a common 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 is equal to 1. So pi 0 is my 1 over 5. So substitute this value at here. You will get the right answer. Pi 0 I can take as a common. So it is 1. 2 times of the pi 1, 2, 3 times of this 
and 4 times of this. So what is that? A to the 10 is a 14 divided by 5. So 2.8 is the right answer of this problem. So 2.8 is the right answer of this problem. So you can see, remember this is the simplest shortcut trick. You can solve any question when they are talking about the uni, uh, they are talking about the stationary distribution. Okay, look at this next question. Uh, a sample is given to you, a sample is given to you, a size 5, having the normal distribution, half, comma, sigma scale, where sigma is my unknown. Fine. Then, capital T is my unbiased estimator of sigma scale, such that the variance of this attain Variance of this attain the Kramer Rao lower bound. Very interesting question. It's attain Kramer bound. So, do you know what is the any of the variance attain the Kramer bound? What is that T? T is nothing but my minimum variance unbiased estimator. Fine. So, can you write tell me what is the unbiased estimator of T? So, since it is a variance, so definitely it will be xi minus either the x bar divided or it will be x i minus mu fine now look at that this x bar we can use when mean is unknown fine when mean is unknown but you can see it's a half is given to you so there is no need to use this formula i have to use this formula so when we can use here then it is my n if mean is not used then it is a n minus one Fine. Now I can use this formula. So n is my 5. I can return here. This is summation of xi minus mu is half whole scale. So what is that? Xi's are my minus 1, minus half, 1, 5 over 2 and 3. So if I sub subtract half and then scale, it is xi minus scale. So it's a 9 over 4. It is 1. 1 minus is a 1 over 4. It's my 3 by 2, 3 by 2 is my 9 by 4, it is my 6, 5 by 2, it's a 25 over 4. So you can add them, you can see it's a 10 over 4, it's a 19 over 4, and 19 over 4 plus 25 over 4 plus 1. So what is that? It is my 4, 9, 14, it's a 44 over 4 plus 1, it's a 11 plus 1, 12. So 12 divided by 5. So right answer is 2.4. Fine. So 5 to the 10 and 2 for the 40. 2.4 is the right answer of this problem. So you can see it's a very simple. You just think about the variance of the Kramer round. That's unbiased estimator of the minimum variance unbiased estimate. Okay, look at this another one. X is the random sample of the size 1. So that's very good. If the size is 1, it means the likelihood function is same as that of this. It's a product from 1. Here, theta is my unknown parameter. H0, H1 is there. Critical reason is given to you. Alpha and beta are the level. Level means type 1 error and beta is my here. So what is the type 1 error? X belongs to the critical reason provided H0 is my true. What is H0 is? Half. So, because this is my CDF, so can you write this in terms of the CDF? Here, when theta is my 1, because H0 is my 1. So, what is that? 1 half lies, half lies here. I can substitute here. This is 1 minus half is half. Theta is my, my 1. So, this is nothing but my half is the answer. Fine. Next one is you have to find the beta. Beta is the power of the test. This is similar of this. But make sure it is my H1 is my true. Again, this is the CDF when theta is my 2 because H1 is my here. So I can again substitute here. So it is my 1 minus theta is my 2. So 1 by 4, it is my 3 over 4. So what is the right answer of this? Half plus 3 over 4, 5 over 4. So the right answer is 1.25 is the correct answer of this problem. So you can see within a 15 second you can solve this in a very easy manner remember this is the simplest way for the explanation 
okay look at this another one a sample is given to you this a sample is given to you having the size is my 4 and the cumulative distribution function is given to you and this is my ks test okay what is the tips for you this is for the ks test you can watch my lecture uh, uh, theory lecture related to the ks test you can see the detail explanation but i will tell you here which is the maximization of fn minus f0 now what is the fn fn is my empirical distribution fine f0 is my distribution related to my h0 what is the empirical distribution if i say this is the fn so f n is my k over n now the question arises is what is the k k is my so how how i can define this you can see about this is here you can firstly write this value in the ascending or descending order so i can write like this way point point 13 point 51 point 78 so k is my number of this 1 2 3 4 fine now you can define here now you can write the value of the fn so what is that k is good one what is the n n is of four elements because they are the size of four so it's a 1 over 4.25 this is a 0.50 0.75 so 4 by 4 is my 1.0 this is my fn now you can define the f0 f0 is my h0 and f0 is defined here so pick the value of the x 0.12 lies in this case it is my here 0.13 again lies in this case so it's a 0.13 0.51.78. Fine. Now what is the remaining is? You have to subtract them. So what is the subtraction? It is 0.13. It's a 0.37. It's my 0.24. It is my 0.22. Fine. Now you have to find the maximum. What is the maximum of this is here? So therefore, D is my 0.37. clear so you need to find here this is my 0.37 plus xi how you find that xi is defined here if h0 is accepted how you can check whether it's accepted or rejected we can draw this normal graph this is my rejection portion what is the value of the rejection is whenever it's a 0.669 we have to reject it otherwise accept it so look at that it's a capital d what is the value of the d 0.37 0.37 lies here it lies in the accepted region so when h0 is accepted the value of the chi xi is my 1 so what is the right answer 0.37 so 1.37 is the right answer of this problem so you can see it's a very simple target about this here if you want to find the more questions on this uh, ks test you can see my previous gate 2020 2021 a uh, similar kind of the question is already asked in this question so you can see all these five question i have solved in a very simple manner uh, after the end of this video you can see there is a complete solution of the gate 2023 statistics you can see start from the question 11 to 15 16 to 20 21 to 25 and you can see the complete statistics up to this 60 and right now it's a 61 to 65 complete here so i hope you can simply learn you can join my whatsapp group where we have discussed the more questions and the shortcut tricks till then i hope you can like share and comment on my videos best of luck students happy learning all